Some surprising news developing yesterday evening regarding the Savannah State football program. Head coach Robbie Wells resigning and Ken is here now with more on this story. I don't think anyone at the university ever thought they would be in this situation yet again. Robbie Wells was just two years into the SSU program, the school's first white head football coach. He's the ninth head coach in the last 16 years. Two years ago when Vice President Claude Flythe hired Wells, he was quoted as saying, as long as I have a job, you have a job. Flight told me today that would have been under different circumstances. So what were these circumstances? Early Friday afternoon, another media outlet reported Wells was fired, which Flight denied several times. He also stressed the win-loss record was never an issue. Now, according to Flight, Wells leaves on his own, stressing he resigned. I can tell you Wells was out recruiting earlier this week. This was a stunning announcement to his entire staff. And with National Signing Day just five days away, the timing raises questions of what really was behind the separation of Wells and Savannah State. A person who is loyal to the university is not loyal to a coach if the coach happened to be at the university. I would prefer you be loyal to Savannah State University rather than being loyal to Claude Flight. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you're loyal to the university, you accept what the university does, if it does it, with character, integrity, and honesty. I have bled orange and blue, okay, the entire time that I've been at Savannah State, okay? I haven't used this as a stepping stone trying to look for another job or anything like that. Now, Flight stressed to me that his 2-8 and eight record this past season had absolutely nothing to do with the current situation, which, in reality, why would it if he resigned? Ken Slats, WSAV Sports.